welcome to today's show. My name is Mike Smith. Today we are going to visit British Railway. This railway got an update in March, so let's explore it. We're starting at Leeton, one of the biggest interchange stations. This station services the biggest number of trains, over 100 daily. One of the reasons of that is Leeton Depot that is located near the station. 35% of the trains arriving at Leeton Station are going from this depot. Ted Miller is one of the drivers of regional service. Here's what he told us. I like driving trains here because of the beautiful scenery outside the train while driving. Before that, I was working at Stepford County Railway, and the scenery wasn't as beautiful as here. Regional service is a British railway service that services most part of the network. It has routes at all branches and stations. We're now at Broomfield, the only station in the network that is managed by Broomfield Preservation Society. It has one used and one abandoned platform. It's a very old station, nearly 130 years old. Before March, this station was the least used station on the network. Oliver King, a dweller of a small house near the station, remembers that happy time. Before March of 2023, there weren't as many trains as there now. Broomfield was just a small limited services station. There weren't many trains, about five per day. Since March, because of the new extensions, regional service decided to make new routes via Broomfield. And what sometimes makes me angry is the noise from the new trains. After March extensions to Norrington and Newhurst, the new station named Stirling Street opened. Currently, it's the least used station on the network. It has nearly three trains daily. John Smith, an expert regional driver, explains why this station is so unpopular. The reason of that is pretty simple. Norrington Station is located very closely to this station, just 0.4 miles away. But I think it's very bad to have limited services at Stirling Street because of the fact that Norrington Station is on the other side of the river that runs between these two stations. But Stirling Street also has blocks of flats just like Norrington, so Stirling Street should get more services. And now we're in Norrington Sidings with Edward White, Intercity Service Driver. He'll help us to understand what's Intercity and why is it so useful. Intercity is express service that services main line from Norrington to Newhurst, with a small branch to Belmond Green. Need in this service arose on March, when new extensions to Newhurst and Norrington opened, and because of a long way between these two stations, British Railway Management decided to make Intercity. Everyone liked it. Intercity mostly used to get to big interchange or terminus stations quickly, but it hasn't got any routes to Ashdean branch because this branch isn't very busy. Intercity is very comfortable and convenient service. It has very low chance of cancellation of your train. But this happens a ways often on regional service. That's why every hour fourth part of total trains per hour is getting cancelled. British Railway is a very nice and fast-growing railway. The owner of this network is Fouth Rail Team with owner Mezzi. And here comes a very interesting and unplanned moment. We're now at Junction. I just read the news and found that Mezzi is currently driving the private train TGV-12 that was in use on regional and intercity services only for one day. Pretty rare train. Later that day, I read another news and quickly went to Freston Junction, one of Interchange and Terminus Station in British Railway. We're now at Freston Junction. The reason why are we here is Mezzi, who decided to drive a Tuk Tuk Class 43. That's the train that as TGV-12 was in use only for one day, April Fool's Day. And now Mezzi is driving it, the train with 27 coaches. Yeah, you heart correctly, 27 coaches. But the coaches are pretty small, only one metre long. So that's it. Today we visited British Railway, talked to the drivers and developers. Hope you like it. My name is Mike Smith. See you later.